Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Tabletop Noob. And today we're painting the Shadows of Brimstone tentacles. Yeah. Alright. So, <clears throat> I already got them primed. I have a priming video up, so be sure to check that out. I'll have a link down in the description. So, these guys should be pretty simple to, uh, to paint. So, I'm just gonna just, uh, since there's six of them, I'm just gonna paint, uh, basically two colors. So I'm going to do three with the uh, serpent skin and three with the tentacle blue from the uh, Shadows of Brimstone uh, Creatures of Void paint set. <coughs> um, just like always I'll uh, go through how I'm painting them. Um, so well let's get started. So let's get some of these guys out of the way. Let's get these over here. I'll start with this guy here. So let's start with the green. Get the paint all shook up. Go all Elvis on it. All shook up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the back side is going to be the uh, ten. Uh, what color am I using? <laughs> I forgot already. Serpent skin. Again, you can paint these whatever you want to paint them. Now here we go. Here. Get my paw out of the way so you can see. It's going on there fairly good, I think. It's going on a little thin. Well, that's okay, I'll just put on another coat. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. Since my hand is in the way and you won't really see too much. Fortunately, I'm a righty. So, I'll go ahead and get that all painted up. Do a jump cut, and when I'm done painting this guy, and probably paint the other two, I'll come back and show you what they look like. So I'll be right back. Okay, there they are. They're all their backs are all painted green. Now I got to do the other ones with the blue, the tentacle blue, the tentacle blue. So let me get those ones done. So. Second verse, same as first, sort of, so for with blue. So I guess it's not the same. Let me start off with this one, but with blue, identical blue. Get a little bit on this one here, and I'll show you. Alright, so let me get these three painted up, get their backs all painted, and I'll show you what they look like. So I'll be right back. Alright, so there's the ones painted in the tentacle blue. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint the front sides, the front of the tentacles, I guess the tentacle part, the suction cup part here of each of them. Um, the fang bone. So we're going to do that one next and go from there. Okay. Probably thinned it out too much probably. So we're just going to Yeah. Get it all in there. Like 
like so. Probably can't see it too well because of my light. I think my light's washing it out a little bit. You'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay. <clears throat> now you can see that I got those the suction cut part painted the uh, fang bone. Next, I'm gonna paint the um, the rock part, um, the leather brown that's part of the. Um, Shadows of Rimstone, uh, Creatures of Void set. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and paint the top of the bases too, brown. Get this leather brown as well. Okay. So let's get the rocks painted. Be better if I had this on camera, huh? The rocks painted. And then I'm just gonna give a little bit on the base too. It's no big deal. It's gonna be covered with um, sand from the uh, same sand that I used from. Uh, and I base the um, the heroes. So I just want to get a little bit of a darker contrast behind the uh, behind the sand. So I mean, I'm not going to do a whole thing solid brown. I just want to just just give it just a little bit of brown background on there. So let me go ahead and finish this up and the rest of them up, and I'll show you. So I will be right back. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add uh, the dark, the uh, dark tone ink, the dark tone ink to the uh, to the miniatures. So we're just going to take it and. Liberally, liberally, pretty much to the whole miniature. Pretty much like so. go ahead and finish this up and the other ones up and be back and show you what it looks like and then they are with the uh, ink on them so the only thing that's left to do is uh, <clears throat> put the basing material on them and then seal them so the basing material that I'm going to use is just the uh, if you've seen the uh, basing video I did for the heroes. It's just uh, just sand that I picked up at the dollar store, which is just this stuff here. I'm going to use this and I'm going to do an ink 
wash to that too, just to, so it's not so bright. Um, I'm gonna glue it down, clean up the edges of the uh, clean up the edges to the uh, of the base, and then I'm gonna seal that, seal everything when everything's dry, and uh, then they'll be all ready. Okay, so here they are with their with the base and uh, and they're all painted around the rim black and they're all painted up with the uh, the um, clear coat stuff I've been using so I think they're good good I decided not to go I decided to uh, not use the ink on the on the sand because I kind of like the contrast between the uh, the brown on the rocks and the uh, and the tan color of the sand so I decided just to leave it like it is but anyway so uh, there they are they're still drying with the stuff that I use to, to spray them with but all in all I think they came out very well So, for now, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.